Welcome back to some more NHL 22 Be a Pro. I am Scott Games, and today we will be playing games one and two of round one of the Stanley Cup playoffs. Now, if you're wondering why we are all of a sudden at the playoffs when the previous episode was like the first few, uh, home games of the season, it's very simple. Um, I just wanted to get to the playoffs. I'm bored of the regular season, and I... I'm kind of hoping to wrap this series up soon, so the quicker we can get through seasons, the better. Um, and I got to thinking, if we win the Stanley Cup this year, that will be the end. The final game of the finals will be the final episode of uh, NHL 22. And if we don't win the Stanley Cup this year, uh, then I will do one more season with a team that I think has a good chance of winning the cup by using the uh, autosave cheese that you can do to pick whatever team you want to sign with since you only get one different team offering you a contract each year. Um, and uh, yeah, so I sim to the playoffs because I was bored of the regular season and I'm just trying to get through this uh, series as quick as possible to see if we can go out by winning a Stanley cup before we end this series because to my uh recollection i do not think that we have won a stanley cup as a goaltender yet throughout my uh goalie career modes i know we won a i know we won like three or four last year as a player um but when you're a goalie you have to rely basically 100 percent on the ai to not be completely stupid and unfortunately nine times out of ten it is completely stupid and I tried to record this episode previously, and it just frustrated me so much to the point where after game two, I just, I simulated through the rest of the playoffs, and I, I, I said, you know what, I'm ending the series here, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized, no, that is not the proper way to end this series if I'm going to end this series, it's either going to be winning the Stanley Cup this year or giving it our all one more season on a new team. So it's either it's either win it or I go to a new team this year and then it's win it or go home and that's the end of the series next year. So either way, if we win the Cup this year, the series will be over. If we don't win the Stanley Cup this year, we'll sign... We'll sign with a new team that I think has the best chances of winning, and then we'll see what happens, and then win or lose next season, that will be it. But I think you guys get the point. We win it all this year, that'll be it. We win it all next year, or we don't win it all next year, that'll be it. So yeah, if you wanted to see me play through the regular season more, I do apologize, but I just wanted to get to the playoffs I will show you the playoff tree. We finished second in the NHL and finished first in the Central Division, by the way. And this is what the playoff tree looks like. So, yeah. When I kind of rage quit and simulated through the playoffs in my previous recording attempt, it did come down to the Kraken and the Bruins in the finals where the Bruins beat the Kraken in five so who knows maybe that'll be the same way it goes this time around but before we get into that I just want to say two things first is thank you guys so much for helping me get over 100 subscribers I appreciate it so much and I can't thank you guys enough it really means the world to me and second you already know what it is more than likely Leave a like on the video if you have not done so already and subscribe if you have not done so already I'm all, I'm past 100 I'm on the road to 200 now. <laughs> so, yeah, just help me out any way you can. I always appreciate it. But I'm not going to ramble on any longer. I did change the sliders. I went back to uh, the Operation Sports Forum Super Goalie Sliders. Um, I'll just do a quick little rundown of everything. Uh, so there's that. There's that. I think you'll be able to see everything if I do it this way. I didn't do the exact thing with 
some of them though, just because I thought maybe it'd make the game go a little slower. Like, especially with the penalties and stuff. But yeah, that is it. And I think one other thing I will adjust is instead of eight minutes, we'll bump it down to six and I will see how that feels. I just think eight minutes might be a little too long. I kind of want to get through this quick. Um, but yeah, without further ado, we are going to play games one and two. And if they go by quick enough, maybe we'll do the games three and four as well. So first period, up one nothing. Second period, losing by two. All right, let's jump into this one. All right, starting off the third period, trailing by two. Not what you want, but maybe these sliders will help us tie things up here. And my one cat is now back in the room. I mentioned it in my previous MLB video and in my previous Vice City video. She is in heat, so she might be making some noise, howling and stuff. Oh, good rebound chance there. Debrink it with it, shoots it back into the glove of Lankinen. She was sleeping, but now she is scratching my chair. Maybe she'll jump up into my lap and, and stay calm and relaxed. I know in my MLB, I know in my MLB video she was kind of making a fuss. Oh, there she is. She's in my lap now. She might rub up against the mic and stuff. But yeah, if uh, nothing of interest happens in this, I will probably just cut it out. Nice save. I'll probably just cut it out and come back if anything of note happens. So I think I'll just do that. Save you guys some time. So if anything of interest happens, I will see you guys then. Nice glove save there. Going to hold on to that. I still think maybe part of the problem with why my team couldn't get anything going against the Predators last year in round two was because I never gave them a breather. I was always throwing the puck out and stuff. So I'm wondering if maybe that had anything to do with it last season. You never know. Nice save there. Keeping my team in it. All right, managed to hold on to that. So far, I'm not minding the sliders. I think maybe I might bump the time down some more. It feels like it's going by a little too slow, but I'm not sure. We already are at 13 and a half, though, so maybe it's going by a little quicker than I think. All right, so we have a delayed penalty. I'm going to head to the bench. No, don't get anything. So we will go to the power play. Two minutes for holding on Pasta, who is the captain of the Kraken in this timeline, like seven years into the future. And Artemi Panarin is also on the Kraken as well. So very unique team in uh, 2029, I think. I don't know. Not sure what year we're in. Nice shot off the faceoff win by Tavares, and he goes down like a sack of potatoes. See if we can maybe do that play a little bit better this time. Win it again. To bring it with it over to Sagan. Sagan comes in back to Debrinket. Debrinket comes in, can't get the rebound off. Lankin and former Blackhawk makes the save. Debrinket holds on to it. Board pinned, and the Kraken will come away with it. They dump it down the ice. I'll go back into my crease. Tavares going up the ice now and gives it back up to the Kraken. Off the post, or maybe off the netting. Good pass up to Sagan. A little two-on-one action. Over to the Brinkett. He shoots it. Good defense there by the crack. And up close, Lankin in with a nice glove save. Off his former teammate. Still trailing by two. Minute left on the power play. I know last year we went undefeated until games one and two of the second round against the Predators. But I have a strange feeling we will not have an undefeated home record in the first round this year. But you never know. We might be able to come back and win this one. But 
It's looking unlikely. Nice one-timer. Good save by Lankinen. Backhand there by Konechny. Cannot get it, and they dump it down the ice. Will not go out for that. And a pass. No, finally passes it up to Strom. All right, interesting backhander there, Strom. Konechny with it up close. He loses it, and they will dump it back down the ice. I will come out to play this one. Spin back around. There you go. Trying to get my players to move around a bit, and they don't because that's how the AI works. And we are off the power play, so I can go back to cutting out things when they don't happen. But not going to cut out things yet because we might have a shot on net here from JT Miller. No, because a good takeaway from Doc there. There we go. Nice pass from Stone. Then a good pass over to Burakovsky. And he gets us to within one. Or maybe two. I don't remember. His first of the playoffs, Andre Burakovsky. Wide open net on Lankin and snipes it past him. Lankin and almost got the blocker on it. And I think we are back to within one. Yeah, back to within one with seven and a half left to go in the third. Nice save. Paddled that away. All right, going to hold on to that. Almost gave up a goal to Pasta up close just because I was moving around when I shouldn't have been. Nice save up close off the faceoff. I'm going to hold that and let him go back to the faceoff circle once again here. Panarin with a nice shot. I will glove it. This time I will pass it out, though, to Burakovsky, who gets it up out of the zone, passes it up to Tavares, who's coming in. Coming in, nice shot. Good chance for a rebound. Nobody was there, though. Burkowski up to Stone, rebound, and we score. Tavares gets his second goal of the game off a nice rebound from Mark Stone. And we are tied up here in the late stages of the third. Lankinen just could not make it over in time to save that rebound. We will take it. Nice glove save, going to pass that one out. Slavin was wide open there. And Vrana off the backhand. Gets the backhand off with traffic in front, but Lankin manages to find it. And Tavares, obviously, one goal away from the hat trick. That'd be very cool if Tavares could give us the go-ahead goal by getting his hat trick here. Cap off our comeback. I'd love to see it. Final two minutes here. Might as well just keep you guys around. You never know what can happen. Debrinket fighting for that puck. Keeps a hold of it. Over to Vrana. He shoots it. Paddled away by Lankinen. Debrinket pushed off against the boards. He's scrumming for it, though, but he loses it. But we're fighting for it. Can't keep a hold of it, though. And Schmaltz coming down the ice. Nice blocker save. They bobble it. Nice job, Sagan, getting in the way of it. Over to Burkovsky, just wide of the net. Debrinket picks it up, though. Down to Slavin. He loses it. Kept in the zone by Jonesy. Sagan with it. Hits it over to Lankinen. Lankinen will freeze it. 32 seconds on the dot left in the third. Zoe's trying to get in the window now, so you'll probably hear her howling in the background, scratching my wall. She knows she's not supposed to be in that window, but she tries to get in there anyway because, you know, cats do whatever they feel like. Can't really, can't really get them to do things like a dog does. Cats just do what they want. There we go. 
Intense situation. Gonna hold that. Not gonna risk anything happen. Yeah, I know. Can't risk it. Yeah. She's very vocal. Yeah, I know. Alright, we lose on that face-off. Up close. Nice glove. Pass that out. Slavin was open. Burkovsky gets absolutely leveled. Pasta, good defense there, Slavin. Getting in the shot lane. Final few seconds. And we are going to overtime. All right, game one. Going to overtime. Let's see how things go here. Be nice if we could win the face off here. Give us that little extra momentum boost. And we cannot. Panarin with it. Oh, up close. Did not like that. Thankfully, Slavin got his stick on the puck. Sagan fighting for it there. Scrumming hard for it. Picked up by Vrana. Slapper. Good job, Jonesy. Getting in the way of that shot. Sagan with it now. Up to Vrana. He gets leveled against the boards. He holds on to it, though. Shoots it right into the pads of Lankin, and he will freeze it. Almost two minutes played in the overtime. So far, I'm so far I'm actually thinking these sliders are actually good again. Because I remember I changed them back because they weren't good anymore. Like, wasn't doing anything. Nice slapper from Slavin. But I also don't want to get too far ahead of myself. Because this is only one game I'm playing with these sliders. So, who knows. Pasta. Oh, good job getting in the way of that, Debrinket. Didn't let me give up a rebound there. Debrinket with it. Nice windmill deke. Lankinen almost let one slip through. We're scrumming for it. Get up there. Sagan couldn't get to it. They get it around the boards. Larkin with it. Yeah. Right into the glove. Going to hold that one. Give my team a little bit of a breather here. Get him reset, get him refocused. Got to play it smart here in the playoffs. Oh, I thought that one was going in. Where is it? Where is it? Cannot get to it. He's dancing with it behind the net. Nice poke check there by Jonesy. Keeps a hold of it. Up to Tavares, loses it. Cracking back in our zone. Good thing is, is it actually feels intense. It feels like an actual overtime of uh, playoff hockey. So I guess that's good. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Ah, oh, could not get the shot off. Just too much, too much pressure in front. Good hit there against the boards. Tavares picks it up. Don't skate back towards me, please. Stone with it. He gets leveled. Tavares picks it up, though. He gets board pinned, and the Kraken come away with it. Oh, 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 oh. Little scrum in front. Lost side of the puck there. Thankfully, did not let it go in. Stone with it. He loses it. Picked up by Jonesy. Over to Slavin. Up to Stone. Over to Strom now. He gets it over to Kubalik. Kubalik shoots it, good save from Lankin and gave up a rebound. No one could get to it. Down to Strom, he shoots it, good save by Lankin and again. Kubalik going behind the net with it. In front to Strom, he shoots it. Good rebound chance, no one there. Stone couldn't get it. Bad pass there from Strom. Stone with it now. Back over to Strom, up close, tries to shoot it. Lankin and had that covered. And he will freeze it. 10.44 left in overtime. Depending on how long this goes, we might just have one game in this one. 31 saves from Kevin Lankinen, former Blackhawk. Jonesy with it. Up to Konechny. Nice shot to Konechny. Lankinen gloves it. 10.06 now in the first overtime period. This would be a good faceoff to win. And we cannot... 
Debrin get fighting for it against Uyghur. All right, Sagan picks it up, tries to pass it in front. Good interception by the Kraken. The bread man. And I glove that. I am going to hold that. 9-13 in overtime. All right. See if we can win this faceoff in our zone. That would be ideal. And we can't. Wide of the net. Way wide. No one in front. Good defense from my teammates. Nice shot block there from Vrana. Good interception there by Jonesy. Getting it away up the ice. Debrinket, he's coming in fast. Panarin intercepts that though. And they go offside. They'll have to reset. This is actually freaking a good overtime period. It it actually feels like a real like overtime playoff hockey period. Panarin intercepted by Debrinket or taken away, I should say. Nice stride deep. Can't get around him though. Panarin picks it back up. Pasta with it. Sagan right on him. Back to Panarin. Nice pass up to Pasta. Slapper and it gets past my blocker and in. So despite us forcing an overtime, the Kraken will take game one. All right. Well, no dilly-dallying. We are going to go straight into game two. All right. So the Sim Engine treated us kindly for game two. We are up by two at the start of the third. Four or never. Yeah, I thought it was four to two. Never mind. Three to one is our score here. Hopefully we can hold on. Pasta with a nice slapper. Gave his team the one nothing lead. Just managed to stay in position for that one. Gave his team the one nothing series lead in overtime in game one. Up close, Lankanen manages to freeze it. But yeah, I, I like the sliders. I don't remember them feeling like this the last time I had them. It's the... Well, maybe it's because I didn't put everything exactly like it was listed. Maybe that's what's making the game feel a little bit different. But I didn't really change. I didn't really make a whole lot of things different from what they're listed, so I doubt it. But I don't know. Maybe the sliders work with the latest update. Regardless, all I know is I'm actually enjoying these sliders for right now. Hopefully, it stays that way. Actually, makes this game enjoyable. Panarin with a nice shot could not get it through. Good job, defense. But yeah, I'm going to go back to only showing you guys interesting things just so we can speed up this video a little bit so it's not super duper long. Actually, we'll keep it with this play here. See if anything of note happens. Panarin coming in. Good save there. I will, I will wait until we get it out of our zone before I go back to regular editing. Nope, they keep it in. Good stick lift. Oh, nice save. Just, oh my goodness, that puck is just flying around. Good board pin action. Kraken holding on to this puck, though. There, we finally get it out of our zone. Not for long, though. Nice glove save. I am going to freeze it to give us a breather. But I'm also going to keep you guys around since we are still in our zone. We managed to get out of our zone for, I, I believe, like two seconds until it was back in our zone. We win that face off, surprisingly, and we are out. And Burakovsky snipes it off a nice pass from Sagan. I didn't think anything of note was going to happen the rest of this game, but we give ourselves a three-goal lead now. Burakovsky gets his second of the playoffs. That was just a nice pass from Sagan and then a nice snipe from Burakovsky. Lankanen just couldn't get the glove on it in time. So I think it is safe to say that we will come out of game two and go to Seattle with a 1-1 series tie. So I might as well just keep you guys around. We're close to the end of the period. 
with how fast this clock goes, though. Maybe I'll be able to keep you there. Sagan with almost a wide open net there. Just couldn't get the shot off. Good defense from the Kraken. They still have time to get back in this one. Knowing how I play, they might be able to. Larkin with the shot. Good defense from my team, though. Gets in the way of it. Picked up by Kubelik. Goes behind the net. And gets hit against the boards. But that will be a penalty against Seattle. Two minutes for boarding, I would assume. He didn't do the motion unless I blinked and missed it. Larkin going to the box. Oh, a game misconduct. Okay. I didn't know those were only... Oh, it's a five-minute penalty. I did not see that. Did not see that. So, yeah, that's literally the rest of the third period. Lankinen with a nice glove save off the slapper. I wonder if he got injured then since he got a game misconduct. Interesting, interesting. We lose that face off though. Are they going to dump it around? Yep. I will. Okay. Don't know what happened there. Maybe they went offside there for a second, or maybe it bounced off the glass. Or maybe you flung it into the netting. I'm not sure. But we win that face off. Burkowski with it. Gave us our three goal lead here. Uh, Konechny with it. I want to say Strom. But that is Konechny. He loses it. Seattle wide of the net. Someone go get it, please. I was hoping it wouldn't be the Kraken, but you know. Oh, there we go. Pass that out, pass that out. Burkowski, he had it, but he loses it. Strom with it over to Doc. Going into the Kraken zone. Strom with it. Nice shot. Lankinen fumbles it a bit, but he finds it and freezes it. The Kraken should be uh, sponsored by Pistachios. If you don't get why I say that, it's because a uh, wonderful pistachio slogan is get cracking. One timer Lankin in with the wonderful glove save. Yeah, could you imagine that? Like on center ice or like somewhere on the ice, you just see wonderful pistachios and then the Kraken logo. That'd be hilarious. It really wouldn't. I just, for some reason, I think that would be hilarious, but. <laughs> I don't know. Nice shot there. Sagan could not get to it. Or Tavares, I mean. Sagan is 90 on our team. I think in real life he's 91. But Tavares was already 91 first. Stone with it now. Basically just playing keep away at this point. Behind the net. Eponiemi with it. Up close, shoots it, tries to sneak it through five hole from the looks of it. Lankinen shuts the door down. Three minutes left to go. 3.06 left on our pen, uh, penalty power play. We got Sagan taking the face off here. Actually win an offensive zone. Face off one timer there from Tavares. Good save from Lankinen. Keeping his team in this one as much as he can. Joe Pesci with it. Or to JT Miller, I believe, is who that is. I'll get it. No, I won't. <laughs> Burkowski over to Sagan. Just playing keep away with him. Two and a half left. It is real time, though, because of the penalty. I think that's how it works. Actually, I know that's how it works. Joe Pesci with it. Schmaltz with it. Good save. Going to hold on to that. 2.16 left in the third period. I definitely am enjoying these sliders, though. Definitely enjoying them so far. Might bump it down to five minutes instead of six. I just feel like it's still kind of taking a little bit too long for my liking. I want these to go by quicker. Way wider than it there. Burkowski with it. Over to Stone. Passes it up to Sagan. Sagan stops up a bit, shoots it through the legs of Makar. Lankinen makes the save. 
Oh, just wide of the net. It was a little out of position there. Burkowski up to Stone. Former captain of the Golden Knights, Vrana over to Sagan, over to Tavares. Vrana with a nice shot there. Could not get it through, or maybe Lankin with a good save. Slapper wide of the net there. Board pinned. We get it out of the zone. They have to reset. Miller with it. Someone lost their bucket. Slapper. I moved way too far over. That is going to go all the way down the ice. Makar picks it up. Under a minute left here in the third. Up by three. Less than a minute left on our power play. Big hit against the boards there. Oh, there's a fight. Oh, maybe not. Seattle wants to fight, though. Yeah, JT Miller. He's going to the box for roughing. So will uh, Ryan Strom. So it's not Dylan Strom on our team. We got a different Strom. They're probably related. Probably brothers. Or maybe it's just a random person with a name Strom. There we go, connecting with a nice shot. Doc picks it up, though. Down to Stone, shoots it, try, or maybe tries to pass it up to Konechny. 30 seconds left in our power play. 23 seconds left in the game. Pasta with it. Gave the team the overtime winner in game one. He will not be the hero in game two, however. We got 10 seconds left. Burkowski with it. We must have picked him up at the deadline. I don't remember him being on our team. One more chance for the Kraken. No, our defense gets in the way. And we will take game two. So in the next episode, we will play games three and four. And hope we can put the Kraken on the brink of elimination. But I will wrap it up here, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you hit that like button, comment, and subscribe if you have not done so, so already. It helps me out a ton, and I appreciate it very much when you do those things. Helps me out a ton, like I just said like two seconds ago. <laughs> but yeah, so if you enjoyed, do all those things. Helps me out a bunch. And until next time, take care.